Hello class, today I'm going to show you how to work with 2D cases. Why we need to do or work with 2D cases? Because 2D cases are much easier and computationally inexpensive. With the limited number of mesh, you can work with 2D and get good results. So if it was possible to uh, convert your system to 2D case, it is much more uh, trustable to convert your TD to 2D and do the calculation. Let's start. Okay, static constructural APO number three. Let's go for geometry. Great. Select the drawing face vertical. I'm going to use line fifty millimeter, hundred millimeter, fifty eight with thirty degree. Forty-nine point seven seven, and these two. Okay, now we draw our truss. The next thing is defining our cross sections or profile shape for each of these lines. The, w the best way is going to prepare tab, select the profile you want. For example, I'm going to select this rectangular tube and click over create. Now you can see we have a beam profile which is rectangular tube. Right click, edit beam, now you can change the beam dimension. I'm going to check thickness T1 to 2 millimeter, thickness T2 2 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 2 millimeter. So all thicknesses are 2 millimeter. Now I'm coming back to the W1 to have it um, 10 millimeter and W2 10 millimeter. Let's go back to our structure. Let's add one more. This time rectangle which is full. Select it, click create. Now we have the second one. This one is not tube. So it is full. Right click. For this case, because it's full, we have just two dimensions, which are 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter, and we are happy with it. Let's go back. So we have these curves with two profiles. Now we are going to assign these profiles to these lines. First, you need to convert these lines to beam. Using control key, you need to select these lines. Now, I'm going to press create to convert these to beams. Now you can see we have beams 
with a rectangular uh, profile all are rectangular let's change the display to see the cross section okay mm, I'm going to change some of these beans to rectangular tube so I'm going to select go to the design to 3D mode now select let's see why okay now I'm going to change here at the properties rectangular to rectangular tube so you can see here this one converted to tube but these ones are they are rectangular but full let's go with this one rectangular tube not this one this one tube this one also tube and also this one so all the beams are tube except this vertical one if we go to the mechanical design part and uh, analyze these are all separate but we don't want to have separate uh, beams so I'm going to merge all these beams as a one body and component so let's select all the beams I click the first one and shift click the last one right click over it and move to new component will be selected now you can see I created a component click the component and come to the properties and for share topology right now it's noun but now I'm going to convert it to merge now ANSYS is going to convert this all beams to one component and merge them okay our drawing is ready let's go back to the model The 2D drawing is imported, as you can see here. This is our drawing. Let's use default mesh, which is good enough for our case. And now it's time for support. I'm going to have fixed support using this vertex selection point tool which is here oh I had to and for the other part I'm going to select displacement what it means I'm going to just limit the displacement of this point at x direction so x direction 0 but y and z direction is free however because I fix this the top uh, corner so 
this uh, truss is going to work very well. Now let's select the other edge for load. Force automatically vector is selected but I'm looking for component and at x direction I'm going to add 100 Newton and at y direction downward so negative 200 Newton so these are our uh, forces and supports fixed displacement and force here let's add solution insert deformation the total deformation would be good solution also beam results axial force is a good solution another one would be bending momentum and maybe beam tools. Let's solve this 2D thrust. Let's see deformation. As we expect, deform the maximum deformation is here, far from the fixed support. Axial forces. We have highest axial force for the top beam and uh, pressure axial force for the blue one, pressure one for the, this green horizontal one, and the other two uh, are uh, extending the beam. And this is for bending moment. And more information if you wanted, direct stress, combined stress, and maximum combined stress, minimum and maximum. Now you need to draw this case or any other shape of a 2D truss for me and send me a picture of uh, the whole page including your solution your your support and a picture of the solution for example uh, deformation solution of your design thank you very much